Have any of you guys seen Ghost Watchers before? Have any of you guys checked this game out? Is this game is good. We're gonna play the abandoned house. We're gonna play with a pentagram. Um, I'm not gonna collect ectoplasm. Um, so yeah, let's just do this. This is good. Woo! Okay, it does look pretty good. Why did I pick up this? There we go. Okay, so I'm gonna teach you guys how this game works. Maybe Twitch will become the new YouTube as in videos. I doubt that very much. I really do. Oh, okay. Ghost got me already. Let's see the temperature. 50 degrees. That's a hot boy. Okay, so between 45 and 50, so it's a it's a rank two. Uh that means it's a dangerous one. <laughs> I'm in danger. I'm basically following the ghost with this one because I'm scanning it. So I'm getting the clues right now to what this ghost might be and what might be needed to get rid of it. And this is the pentagram, so we need to unlock that one also. So 500 to 1,000 and three red and 50 degrees. Ooh, we're getting a lot of data right now. I hope you guys are following along. Okay, so what we do now is that we have the EMF and it's on red three. So it's not a ba Babadook. It is not Babadook because I am not level 20. Uh, demon or puppet. And we did get the particle counter to 500 to 1000. So what you can see now is that we have the ghost type. We have to find the ghost type. We also need its age and its mood. So this is a lot more involved than any of the other games that you might know already. So we're gonna get these pieces of equipment and we're gonna put them by the entrance because it's just, an, just convenient, basically. Um, and you will be able to hear a lot of weird sounds. Uh, these are the uh, extra objectives. So capture a video of the ghost? Sure. And what else? Cursed mirror, take a photo. Okay, I heard a sound. Yeah. Where's the voodoo doll? Did you eat my doll? Ah, man, it yeeted the doll. Oh, scribbles? I really don't know where the voodoo doll is. Okay, I'm just going to move out just for a second. So, notebook is just doodles. Whoa! I guess the ghost was just there. So, we have the scribbles. That means it can only be the puppet. Uh, I also think that we had some, some, um, some blood stains. Basically, we can check out the blood stains by going around. And if we see, like. Okay, we just gotta go out. This is the ghost hunting. So when you hear the whispers, get out. Okay, good. So nothing happened. I am not supposed to hold the mirror in my hands. Oh, growling! Okay, so we have growling on the radio. Growl. And the Ouija board is random movements. Oh, that's booted all. So random. So we know it's an ancient puppet. And then the last one is the mood. And I can't see the voodoo doll. So it has thrown it. So it's haunting. That means now we know every single thing we need. So what we do is, first of all, just point. So we put in what we know. It's puppet, ancient, haunting, and then confirm. If this is wrong, we only have one more try to correct it. If we if we do the assumption or whatever you want to call it, wrong two times, you fail the mission. But as you can hear, this is a good thing. 
Okay. Take a photo of the drawing in the noting book. In the notebook. And then light all the candles. Okay. So we need a lighter. We need a photo camera. And also, <clears throat> since we have all of that, we are going to the next step. And the next step is weakening the ghost. So we need to materialize the ghost. We already did that. That's by getting the guess correctly. This is where in most games, you would just leave. You're done. There's nothing more to do. You got all of it. And some will say, this game seems a bit too simple. I'm playing it on easy. Well, I'm playing it on normal. But still, yes, it is a bit too easy right now. The thing is, if we go up a notch to a higher difficulty, when the ghost starts hunting, you can't get out. Right now, I can leave the house and that will effectively end the hunt. Even if a hunt was actually going on, if the hunt had already started and it was right behind me, if I left the house, the hunt would be over. So, one of the things that you do to protect yourself is you can get several things, but as you can see right now with the puppet, what we can get is this thing over here. It's called the plasma absorber. And we can we can also use a torch. Torch is right there. Basically what you do is you just throw the torch in its face. Also have different types of salts and grenades that we can also use. But I think I think the plasma, yeah, the plasma is the first one we actually need to do. So we need to take that with us. Second thing is gold bomb then voodoo doll then flask with vesuvius ashes i think we need to buy that no it's right there okay never mind and salt and then the pentagram and then we're done the pentagram i've only done once before and it is quite difficult but i'm gonna i'm gonna do my best so first of all needed that and also we need we need something that we can throw in the ghost's face if we ever needed to so in in the case of the ghost hunting us we need some protection right now i am turning on all of these lights God damn it. Leave me alone. Okay, so I don't know where all of these are. I know there's one in here. Yes. And I think the last ones are upstairs. Oh, also, if the ghost pulls you in higher difficulties, it will basically yeet the item you have in... Whoa! Hi. It will yeet the item that you have in your hand. So, don't think there is candle lights in here. No. Would you chill with the hunts? <clears throat> Man. Okay, so the whispers is not the hunt itself. The whispers is just the beginning of the hunt. Okay. Ooh. Oh, I can light them with the torch? That actually makes perfect sense. There we go. Okay, so the plasma absorber just got the ghost. We just heard the sound of that. So let's go out to the van. I think I've gotten all the um, the objectives. Yes, all good. And now it says last correct action is plasma absorber. So I can basically yeet this. And all the sounds that you hear is just the ghost, you know, doing shenanigans. Um, so gold bomb. Voodoo doll. Voodoo doll's already in there, so I don't need to do that. And then the flask. Good. Wait a mo. Salt. There we go. Okay. So, gold bomb. No, wait. Salt is later. Salt is later. 
It's gold bomb, dull, and flask. Okay. I do not like that. He is very, very, very close. Okay, so, oh, there it is. <laughs> I was about to say, where did he actually put the voodoo doll? But it wasn't that far away. So that's the, that's the annoying part is that when you have to do the, um, the voodoo doll part of it, even if it's inside, you actually have to find it pick it up and then throw it again even if it's inside the house uh, that's fine but eh, mildly infuriating so salt and then the pentagram the pentagram ritual again i am i am not that good at it yet oh he's right there but i will be i will be you gonna hunt me so I'm gonna pick that up. Cause what we need to do for the ritual with the pentagram is we need we need to get like a, a, a ton of haunted items. And they can be all over the home. Also, I need to find out where the where the video camera actually is. He's around. Video camera, video camera. Did I pund it somewhere? Because the thing is, if you have the... There it is. If you have the video camera, you will be able to see where all these cursed items are. As you can see, they light up. That's the mask. Okay, so right now... We're basically waiting for a hunt. But yeah, so we have the mask. And... I don't see anything else. We might have to go to the basement. So yeah, that's that's the one thing I already found. That is uh, like a dream catcher. Okay, we might need to go to the basement. Where, 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 where? Oh, upstairs. Okay, fair enough. Yeah, we need to go to the basement. Just to see if, if anything needed is down here. It, oh, the skull. The skull. What else? Anything else? So how is everybody doing? How do you like this game so far? Like, I think this game is cool. I'm a bit of a fanboy. <laughs> That's why I'm doing a dig at Nusgard. What? Where? I heard you. Crap. Well then. <laughs> See, I'm actually going to take this outside. Because I might want to save it for later. Also, it, it's quite difficult to deal with this ghost. Because usually you, you get stuff that has sort of three uses. These are all single use stuff. But hey, you know, whatever works. If that's what I need to do. That is what I will do. We're gonna go down. We're gonna get this. Oh, where, where was it? Oh, there. Got the skull. So this is, this is just for this final sort of ritual that I need to do. Which can be a bit tricky. Ah! I don't want to fight him yet. I don't want to fight him yet. I want to save it. I want to... <coughs> I want to get all the items... That I need... For the ritual... Before I throw the... Um, the salt in his face.
There's the rose. Good. Um, so, getting into what the last ritual is all about. Basically, we're going to be throwing the dagger in the center of the, um, the pentagram. And I'm, I can show you the dagger. It's right out here. And also, if I mess it up, I have to buy another dagger. But you throw the dagger and the ghost will be trapped inside the pentagram. And then start sort of like a mini game where you need to get the correct item into each of the positions of the pentagram. If you do so correctly, the ghost will now be completely weakened and you can now get rid of it. Oh, we might not make out. We, yeah, we might not make it out. We didn't make it out! <laughs> Ooh! That was close. Oh, man. And the thing about this game is, like, there's no, like, grace periods or anything. Like, if he wants to hunt, he will hunt. Yeah, I will most likely just need to fight him on this one. Yes! Okay. So... We're basically ready for the pentagram. Only problem being, we don't have enough items. So I can use the silver bomb and I can use the holy salt. I can't use fire salt though. Fire salt will do nothing. Okay. So there's one location that I didn't check and I want to check that out right now. So... God. Would you just for once? Is is getting sweaty? I just really want to be dead. Okay, so I think I think we're good. Semi good. That's not good. Ah! Damn! I got you! Okay, so how many items do we have? We have... Um... One, two, three, four, five. And there are five positions on the pentagram. So we... Technically should be good? If I got the right items, because... That's one of the things that I'm not sure about. I like, I, I think, I think, I think there's supposed to be more items in the house um, than the five needed. Don't know. Ghost. So, as you can see, it, it's pretty involved. And imagine this on a higher difficulty with the ghost going like ape caca all the time. Hi. So what do we need? Doing it right. I just did the freaking rose. Okay, that was right. Ooh. 
I'm in trouble. Looks like I am. I did it? Okay, so I have to throw it at the pad where it you know, is supposed to be. I just can't throw it in the center of everything. So the last thing we need to do is just catch the guy. And catching the guy is not that bad because you just use the Pokeball and you go, yeet. Ignore that. <laughs> there we go. Ignore, ignore that, you son of <laughs> And that's how you do it. Oh, and also, wow, it does give us a lot of XP and a lot of coins. Damn.